So here's the moment that you have all been waiting for. Take it away. So we have three. We're going to announce them in no particular order. As I said earlier, in America we like to pick winners. This is the City of Houston Hackathon. It's our third annual hackathon. So this is three years running. We have about 400 people coming together. Developers, designers, map nerds, data nerds, any kind of nerd, uh, coming here to work on projects for the city of Houston and the community. This year is amazing. We've been really blown away by the response of Houstonians, um, and we more than doubled our expectation for attendees. We're making a Houston crisis map, and the idea is that users will be able to upload information about crises in their area and get information about crises in their area. So what if your smartphone could save your life? During a crisis, users can interact with our Esri powered map, which pulls data from NOAA weather, HPD, and HFD active incidences, and 311 service requests. So, this is a view of all our parts. But with the hackathon, really what you're trying to see is what kind of cool things were they able to put together over the course of 24 hours. It's the beginning of a process, right? So, we're looking to see if there's any promise in, in what they're working on. And, and in some cases, that might just be a prototype, it might be a sketch, it might be some sort of visual that they put together. And depending on the makeup of the team, it might actually be a functional product that could be implemented right now. So, uh, Laura and I decided to, to do a little project looking at health inspections. It doesn't matter where you live, it doesn't matter what kind of food it is, and it doesn't matter how much it costs. You can have a good restaurant, and you can have a bad restaurant. It doesn't matter if people like it or people hate it, it can fail an inspection and it can pass an inspection. We were able to kind of separate the data by culture, so to speak. With this, you can kind of explore your community and you can understand kind of where these different areas are and what those, what those different types of foods mean. For the most part, what we're looking for in the projects is usefulness. Is it something that I think that people are going to bust out their phone or get on their computer and actually use at some regularity? Um, and also, uh, kind of the, the technical complication of it. Exactly, you know, how interesting was it? How many different pieces are we pulling together? Thank you. My name is Stephen Morrison. I work for Houston Police Department. The Houston Police Department's interested in creating a phone app uh, that would make information available to uh, any individual out there right at their fingertips. Perhaps uh, you can get the license plate number of your car and find it if it's towed. Uh, if you've got a friend, maybe they got arrested, you could uh, put their name in and find out if they're in our jail. Uh, <laughs> communication with the community, especially here in Houston, is very important. We have proposed a mobile access app. One of the main categories based on what's going on today in the society is that how can you rate a police officer? You are able to have a GPS to synchronize and let you know this is a police car, this is the actual policeman that pulled you over, and you have the ability at the bottom to rank them one to five. For sure, there's a lot of people who come here without a project in mind. They just have skills and they want to help out for 24 hours. Uh, and we do a team formation exercise where they hear from all sorts of different government officials and stakeholders about projects that would be meaningful for their departments. It's really just a lot of people with great skills uh, looking for big problems to solve. Final products can range anything from data visualizations or uh, it can be as complicated as an application or a mobile app. Working on an app called Rollout. Have you ever had to look up your trash schedule, a recycling schedule? It's very difficult. We thought there has to be a better way. And in this situation, we say, what would Ludacris do? Ludacris would roll out. <laughs> so we've created a really simple iOS and Android app that, at a glance, will show you your upcoming schedule. So you can see recycling is next Tuesday. I mean, how many of you have ever been to the Houston Technology Center before this weekend? So the Houston Technology Center is a nonprofit organization that works with technology startups to help them grow. We also are a community hub, so we host a lot of events um, and we just really want to foster community growth here. The citizens want to know what's going on in their community and they want to be able to see visually what's going on around them. We are all City of Houston employees. We are working on campaign finance data and we are looking to clean the data and be able to take a look at where money is raised and where money is spent. Down here in the map, we can see where the money came from and also where it went. We'll get to the uh, Financing by Race dashboard. And this is where the public can explore the contributions of individual race. You know, we'd get creatives and developers and marketers together 
just to meet and talk about what they're working on. And I think a lot of that is what sparked some of the early things that we were doing with bar camps and things like that in Houston. So I like to see this type of thing. Um, one, because it's a new generation of people that can help um, sort of foster growth in the city. Uh, I'm really happy with this. This has been a tremendous effort uh, on the part of the Houston Technology Center, the city of Houston, and Open Houston, all the great people here. So I'm just really excited to see it happen.